One of our presenters is an amazing person. He is Commander John Harrington. He is the first Native American astronaut. He is Chickasaw, and he is going to tell you some wonderful stories and answer questions from some of our viewers. Hi, kids. Welcome to the Museum of Native American History. I'm Tiny Tusker, and I have a story to share with you. It's one of my favorites. Are you ready? Great, because it's story time. All righty, well, thank you so much, folks. Hi, my name is John Harrington, former NASA astronaut, still wearing the jacket. Uh, I like to uh, read my book, Mission to Space. This is a children's book that I wrote with uh, my, uh, my late wife, Margo, who was the brainchild uh, for this. Uh, she said, we need to write a kid's book. And I said, yes, ma'am. So I, I do what I'm told. Uh, but thanks for joining me. Um, Mission to Space, the, uh, the guy in the front, that's me. I'm getting ready to walk out on my very first spacewalk and right below my feet, it's about 220 miles straight down. So uh, pretty exciting ride. Let's see, Mission to Space. I dedicated this book uh, to my dad. My dad was a pilot. He gave me my first flying lesson when I was about 10. Um, I've always enjoyed the fact I had a chance to fly airplanes. As a matter of fact, I still uh, fly airplanes. I live on a runway here in a place called Marion, Montana. I live on a small runway and I just flew down, uh, I just flew down yesterday uh, to a place called Lewiston. So I'm, uh, I'm very fortunate. But my dad taught me to fly, gave me my first flying lesson, and this book is dedicated to him. I dedicate this book to my dad for making the world of flight possible to a young, adventurous boy. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do this and get in here. Um, when I was a little boy, I liked to shoot rockets with my dad and my older brother, 10, 9, 8. On here, the guy in the middle is my dad, and then this little kid right here is me, and this is my brother. And right between my dad and I, there's a rocket. That rocket has a beetle in it. I used to put beetles in the payloads of my rockets just uh, for fun to see what they would do. Never heard them. I was being uh, a scientist. I was experimenting. Um, okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor. Um, this is the Space Shuttle Endeavor. I'm riding at the very top up here. And uh, these are the solid rocket boosters. And there's a lot of stuff coming out of the bottom and pushing us up uh, into, uh, into space. I am Commander John B. Harrington, and I am Chickasaw. I am a citizen of the Chickasaw Nation. This is my spacesuit. And uh, that suit weighs about 300 pounds, uh, but it weighs nothing in space. Flying in space takes a lot of training. And I'm training in what's called a vacuum chamber, making sure my suit works when I go out in space into the vacuum of space. I train in a virtual reality laboratory. And what that means is I'm wearing a headset. And that headset has a computer generated picture of what the space station looks like. And my job is to actually pretend I'm gonna walk, I'm, I'm space walking down the side of the space station. Uh, really funny thing about this picture, it's really, let me get it, let me bring it in here. If you look at my cheek, I got a big bump on my cheek. Well, that big bump on my cheek is a big piece of candy called an atomic fireball because the guy that runs this laboratory had a big bucket of atomic fireball candies. And every time I went into the uh, lab, I would put one in my mouth and it would make me sweat. So uh, yeah, that's that big bump on my cheek. Let's see, I trained in a pool called the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory. And here we actually trained to uh, survive if we had to jump out of the space shuttle and into the ocean. So I'm sitting in a raft, that would be my raft, uh, floating in the pool, uh, simulating I was floating in the ocean. It takes a lot of hard work to do something well. And right here, I'm training to go in tight inside the space shuttle. This is one of our suit technicians helping me with my, uh, my communications cap. And I'm wearing the same suit that would, I would wear on the space shuttle going into orbit. Soon I was ready to fly to the International Space Station with my fellow astronauts. And this is a big van. This is called the Astro Van. And the Astro Van is what takes us from where we get suited up prior to launch, out to the launch pad. 
and we're all lined up here walking into the uh, into the Astro van. While we waited in the space shuttle, I get the picture here. While we waited in the space shuttle, I got to read it here. There was a very important celebration happening in the Rocket Garden at the Kennedy Space Center. So I'm in the space shuttle right up here. Matter of fact, I was waiting right out here to get strapped in. I'm standing right about here. And uh, over at the uh, Kennedy Space Center, there was a big celebration for me. Chickasaw Nation Governor Bill Anatubby, Lieutenant Governor Jefferson Keel presented a Chickasaw blanket to NASA. So this is the governor of the Chickasaw Nation. And this is the Lieutenant Governor of the Chickasaw Nation, Jefferson Keel. And this guy's named Sean O'Keefe. And Sean O'Keefe was the administer, administrator of NASA when I was an astronaut. And this is a big blanket from, the, uh, from my tribe. And people came from miles to sing and dance and celebrate. So my, uh, my tribe came down. These are uh, stomp dancers from my tribe. And they came down and danced at the Rocket Garden while I was getting ready to get in the space shuttle. And that was really, I appreciated that. Unfortunately, um, I didn't fly the night this happened because we had a problem with the space shuttle. So all my friends had to go back home. And then I, I flew about two weeks later in space. But I was very, very proud of the fact that NASA invited my tribe down uh, to celebrate my, uh, my flying in space as Native American. Uh, the rockets ignite with a great shudder and we blast off into orbit around the Earth. And so here we're lifting off. Uh, about 7 million pounds of thrust is pushing us into space. And we go, we don't go straight up. We go up and around the Earth because we go around the Earth really, really fast. And as gravity pulls us back, the Earth falls away. So we're in this constant free fall. Uh, it's a fun ride, kind of bumpy for about two minutes. But it takes eight and a half minutes to go to space in the space shuttle. Let's see here. The International Space Station will be our home uh, for the next two weeks. I went to the International Space Station and I installed a piece of the space station, this one right over here. I installed that with another guy doing about three spacewalks. So that's what the space station looked like just as we left. Look, my eagle feather and flute float in space. Um, there were two things I took into space that I actually took out and uh, took a picture of. And one is a flute and the feather. The feather was uh, given to me by an elder who was a good friend of mine. And the flute was also given to me by another gentleman who was an engineer at the Kennedy Space Center. And now these are both in the uh, Smithsonian Museum of the American Indian in Washington, DC. Astronaut Don Pettit, uh, helps me with my EMU, my extra vehicular mobility unit suit. Okay, so this guy right here is named Don, and that guy right there is me. And he's helping me put my gloves on, and I'm getting ready to go out on, on my first space walk. Uh, I took Don to space, and I left him there. He was in space for about four to five months um, after we left him. But Don, one of my classmates, was a really, really smart guy, real nice guy. Uh, now it is time to spacewalk. Am I upside down? Or right side up. Well, am I am I this way? Am I this way? Am I up? That is actual orientation of the way I was on the space station. I'm at the very top of the space station, crawling along the top. But you can't tell from that picture, can you? Nope. There is no upside down in space. Upside down is what you see. It's not what you feel. We are 220 miles above the Earth. Our helmets, suits, and gloves protect us from the extreme cold and heat. So we're outside here. Mike and I, my friend Mike and I are spacewalking on the front of the space station. When the sun comes up and the sun hits us, the light from the sun, it heats up to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is essentially about the temperature it takes to boil water. And when the sun goes down, it's about minus 200. So there's about a 400 degree temperature swing in space and our suits are really, really good. Uh, they keep us from getting too hot or getting too cold. As an astronaut, helmets, um, an astronaut's helmet has a special visor that protects our eyes from the bright light of the sun. And you can see my visor really is bright gold. And if you look really close, you can see the guy 
taking my picture who's upside down relative to me. Yep, I'm actually upside, I'm actually upside down in that picture. Huh. Can't tell. Mission accomplished. We have successfully landed back on Earth. I came back to Earth on the space shuttle, goes up like a rocket ship, comes back like an airplane, and we've landed at the Kennedy Space Center on a really, really, really long runway. We roll to a stop, and, uh, and then we get out, and we meet our families. So that was a lot of fun. One of the neat things about this book is my tribe said, how do you describe in, in the Ch Ch Chickasaw language um, certain things? And so what they did is they put a vocabulary in, vocabulary in the back, a glossary, that has both the English word and the Chickasaw word for it and the pronunciation of it and what it means. And so someone asked me, how do you say astronaut? Well, there is no Chickasaw word for astronaut. So they said, what does an astronaut do? Well, the astronaut walks above. So Chikasha, Chikasha Chikasa, Chikasha Abba, above Noah, above Walker. So Chikasha Abba Noah, Abba Noah would be the above Walker. And there's different words in here uh, that have the Chickasaw word for them and the pronunciation. So you get the book, you can learn a little bit of Chickasaw. So I would say Chukma, hello. So uh, Follett John Harrington. My name is John Harrington. Um, Chickasaw, Chickasaw Sea. I'm a citizen of the Chickasaw Nation uh, in Oklahoma. So this is my book, Mission to Space. I hope you get a chance to read it. And thank you so much for letting me share it with you today. Have a wonderful day.